All right, people, this one's actually a little bit sad. So we have from the Daily Mail Australia. Meet the world's youngest transgender model. Born to a mother who is now male, Noella became a girl aged four and is now tipped to make millions of dollars on the catwalk. But her biological father, who raised questions, has been airbrushed from her life. Like I said, a bit sad. So the subheads. Noella McMahon, 10, identifies as transgender at two and a half, nearing three. I'll have more to say on that later. Proud biological mother, D, 35, now identifies as a transmasculine male. She recently became youngest transgender model to walk runway in New York. One Hollywood agent said she could make a million or two in the next year. See, what I don't get right is who is this agent going around signing 10-year-old trans models? Like, is this your specialty? Are you just an ultra-capitalist with no morals? Anyway, I've got to show you a quick sponsor. Studies have revealed just how our appearance affects our mental health. This is why I'm such a huge fan of multi-collagen. Multi-collagen works to restore youthfulness of the skin. It helps combat loose skin and wrinkles quicker and more efficiently than anything else I've ever tried. The reason it really works is by supercharging the skin's collagen intake. Collagen is the protein our skin needs to stay elastic. This product helps deliver the collagen directly to the skin's cells. Get up to 51% off this month by going to healthwithbear.com or visiting the link below. Hello. So I was thinking about that agent question, and I think the answer is he's a Hollywood agent, so he's probably just f***ing weird. So this topic always irks me a bit, as I'm sure it does you. Ten-year-old children can't be trans people. I mean, you've got no idea about gender and sexuality and shit at ten. I mean, you've probably got some sense of gender, but like how rare would it be for an actual legitimate trans person to come out before the age of ten, let alone two and a half? Her parents say she was born with a fierce and confident sense of identity. Well, apparently her parents don't say that, as we will learn shortly. And that self-assurance can clearly be seen on the catwalk, where 10-year-old Noella McMahon has become the world's youngest transgender model. Noella, who fashion insiders say could make her first million in the next year, first identified as transgender at two and a half nearing three, according to biological mother D, 35, who now identifies as a transmasculine male and cites Noella as an inspiration. Okay, listen, I've got a kid that age. I've got a kid who's going to be three in January. And this current week, she identifies as one of the marching elephants from the Jungle Book. You know those ones that go, hop, two, three, four, keep it up. Two, three, four, hop, two, three, four. Last week she identified as a wiggle. I think the week before that she identified as a f***ing dog or a cat or something. I don't know what it was. She doesn't really express herself that well because she's f***ing two and a half going on three. This is bullsh**. In an exclusive interview with the Mail on Sunday, Dee said, My spouse and I are both non-binary. Oh, well, there's a f***ing shock. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. If this kid were to grow up in a quote-unquote normal household, then I think there's fuck all chance that this would have happened. She's got to be getting it from somewhere, doesn't she? She's a kid. She's impressionable. And you're just ramming it down her throat. In terms of gender identity, Noella came out before either of us. She was born with a fierce and confident sense of identity. It first started at two and a half nearing three. No, it didn't. Someone would say to her that she was a cute boy and she would snap back and exclaim, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. Yeah, she probably did that two or three times in the same week. Just like my little girl's an elephant this week. But this story of our times has sparked widespread concern. One campaigner described it as abhorrent and suggested Noella's mother was actively put pushing her to become trans. Noella socially transitioned at four and the family changed her legal birth certificate from boy to girl when she was six. Um, is it just me or do birth certificates usually state male or female? I don't know, maybe this is an America thing. She hit the headlines in America last week when she became the youngest transgender model to walk the runway at a fashion show in New York. Now she's being bombarded with modeling offers and will walk the catwalk at Paris Fashion Week this year. A Hollywood agent said no. Noella is a phenomenon. She's only 10 but represents so much in terms of where the world is now. We're seeing more transgender models and she's the ultimate in terms of being a woke role model. Oh, f***ing shoot me. She's so confident for someone so young. She's capable of making a million or two million dollars in the next year. And there it is. Ching, ching.
But it's emerged that Noella's biological father has been airbrushed out of the media profiles published in the US last week. Timothy McCord, a Chicago-based scientist, was so against her transition that he allegedly tried to force the child into boys' pyjamas and fractured her arm. Well, that's not good. That's never good. And no offence, Dad, but you're a massive bastard. He was visiting at the time. He and Dee, the mother, were separated. According to legal papers, McCord pleaded guilty to a child endangerment charge. Last week, he said he had not seen Noella or his son Levi since, adding, I tried to get back into their lives, but it was too contentious and stressful for everyone. Dee, who has been married to Ray, a 32-year-old biological female, who was also identified as transgender since 2019, now has a baby who is being raised as non-binary. Oh, what a shock. I mean, don't you find this weird, right? That transgender people are supposed to be this micro part of the population, like 3% or something. I mean, if that, that's just off the top of my head. Yet all of a sudden, we've got this whole family of four who are all transgender. There's no coaxing there. There's no leading there. Everyone's transgender of their own accord. Even the baby who is being raised as non-binary. Oh, give me a f***ing break. Dee refers to the baby as Daby. Yeah, of course she does. Sinead Watson, who changed gender from female to male at 23 and then changed her mind and detransitioned four years later. OK, babes, I will go back to the cock at any f***ing point. I can, all right? That's what, if that's what you want, I f***ing will. Said we're seeing more and more parents with Munchausen syndrome by proxy. It's not the kids who are trans, it's the parents who want them to be trans. And I think Sinead has that spot on. F***ing two and a half, three-year-old coming out as trans. Give me a f***ing break. See, look at this photo. I mean, most 10-year-olds have that sort of prepubescent baby face. They could grow up to be a girl or a boy, and it's kind of hard to pick. I mean, put long hair and a dress on a little boy, and you'd be like, okay, fair enough, yeah, that might be a girl. But when it's pushed on them like this, then they're given a clear and concise path as to what they are meant to be. I mean, look at what they said before. The pre-10-year-old inspired us to be trans? Come on. But when this kid gets to 11 or 12, it's going to be like, oh, well, if you want to continue down down this path that <clears throat> you want to go down, we're going to have to put you on puberty blockers, most likely f***ing up your reproductive ability for the rest of your life. This is a very sad story, but that's okay as long as we're being woke and as long as the Hollywood agent make his kachinka kachinka. It's too young. It's just too young. Anyway, I'd like to hear your comments down below or at my super duper gay half step brother in law's Twitter account, B Skills with three L's. Thank you very much for watching. Session, session, give me better ties